Flooding has turned into ice obstacles for drivers along Skunk Creek today. Kibble Van Sammy Bielen shows you how a combination of conditions is creating an interesting issue. Well, guys, on top of ice chunks the size of small cars floating across the road, residents near Skunk Creek also had some damage to their homes. Today, city crews took their big equipment out to help. It's something residents around Skunk Creek haven't seen for decades. Oh, it was a mess. It was flooded all the way up to the park. That house over there got flooded out. Right where you see that water line is where the whole flood was. Just about took out the bridge. Crews have been busy pushing the large chunks of ice off the roads, scraping the pavement clear, then sanding the surface. They're not trained for this, but they're ready. Well, it's not typical that you're removing uh, large ice chunks off of the road, uh, but handling ice and snow, uh, they do it six months out of the year, and they're, uh, they're experts at it. Steve Shields came out to photograph the unusual scene. He says the last time he saw this much flooding was back in the late 60s. Uh, lady lost her trailer down here on the corner. It's, it's sitting in the field, so the trees over here. Despite the destruction it's causing, Shields is impressed with the city's response. Yeah, they're getting a great job off it. They're getting it good. Obviously, uh, nobody wants this. Uh, it, it stinks. Uh, there's no, uh, I can't uh, sugarcoat it. Uh, but uh, everybody is really coming together. Not only city employees, the whole community is coming together. And uh, we're just, you know, people are calling in how they can help. And, and so that's, uh, that's one thing good about uh, living in the Midwest. We kind of come together when times are tough. And the roads near Skunk Creek are cleared off now. Shield says this is the second worst flood he's seen since 1969. Well, thanks, Sammy.